Now we have the data types in C. A type defines a set of values and a set of operations that can be applied in those values. For example, a light switch can be compared to a computer type. It has a set of two values, the on and off. Only two operations can be applied to a light switch, turn off and turn on. So we have here the following subtopics, the void, integral, and floating point types. We have the data types. Okay. We have here the void, the integral, in which the integral has three, boolean, character, and integer. For the floating point, we have real, imaginary, and complex. The character types, we have the two car and w car underscore t so it differs to its preciseness same as with the integer types we have short int int long int long long int and as i've said it differs to its size that is the size of the short Integral type is smaller than or equal to the size of integer. An integer is smaller than or equal to the size of long. And the long is less than or equal to the size of long, long in. Okay. So this table shows the typical integer sizes and values for sign integers okay so we have the types integral types here or the integer types here at the leftmost column and the second column shows the byte size in which integer contains or can have the four byte size of so four bytes so it's 32 bits so long in has also 34 32 bits so it's equivalent to four bytes long long in contains eight byte size the third column and the fourth column shows the range or the bound so it can use the following minimum and maximum value so the minimum value of um, short in is negative 32,768 and the maximum bound is positive 32,762 so if ever you are going to use a type that has the value that will have more than um, or equal to 33,000 so it's better to use the greater byte size like int long int or long long int okay now let's have the floating point type we have float double and long double so it differs on its preciseness okay and also the value or the byte size that is, the size of float is less than or equal to the size of double. And the size of double is less than or equal to the size of long double. Okay, so this table shows the summary of the floating point type or the C out of the type summary, sorry. The type summary. We have here... Um, the first column shows the the C uh, the category, the category of type, the void, integral, and floating point. Okay, the second column is the type, and the last column shows the C implementation. Okay, that is, for example, for the type void, for implementing it using C language, you have to use small cups void. For boolean, we have the bool. Character, we have car or w car underscore t. For integer, we have here 
short end and long end long long end for real numbers you can have low double long double okay for imaginary numbers you have float imaginary double imaginary long double imaginary and for the complex float complex double float complex and long double complex now let's have the variables so these are named memory locations that have a type such as integer or factor so which is inherited from their type so the type determines the values that a variable may contain and the operations that may be used with its values so we have the variable declaration and variable initialization just like this one we have the variables type okay first and the variables identifier so we have here car as the variables type and the identifier is code okay so this variable can hold a value of type character like a b and another the second line shows the variable declaration of an integer of type uh, i mean of an integer variable whose variable identifier is i okay so since i is an int data type so it can hold a value of an integer meaning whole number okay that um, belongs to uh, within the range of um, the value specified in an integer data type okay, another one is the long long national depth so it's an integer type okay meaning um, you can have you can um, assign value to national death with a value having no decimal parts pay rate since um, it is declared using the float data type you can assign a value with a decimal character or with a decimal value decimal number okay double pi so it is a variable with a data type double so you can assign a value having a decimal parts to pi like 3.1416 so these are examples of variable declarations and definitions okay we have here bool fa so it is a variable that is that has a data type boolean right and so on so we have here the variable initialization that is a variable with an initial value just like this one car code is equal to b wherein b is placed in a single code so code variable has an initial value b and i is equal to 14 so i is an integer variable that has an initial value 14 okay same as with the other variables like double pi is equal to 3.14592653 so um, pi okay is placed in a memory is located in a memory with a value 3.14592653 all right so take note when a variable is defined it is not initialized meaning when you have declared a certain variable it is not yet initialized we must initialize any variable requiring prescribed data when the function starts okay so for example this is a program that will print the sum of three numbers we have here the preprocessor directives 
that shows the standard input and output statements. Okay, we have here the local declarations inside the main method A, B, C, and sum in which they are all integers. Next, we have the three statements to display the text welcome. This program adds three numbers, enter three numbers in the form N, 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 K, N, 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 then return. And we have the statement scan F. Okay, scan F, that is we have percent T. These are the placeholder for the integers. Okay. For the three integers in which we have the three arguments for the three variables A, B, and C. So once the user will enter three numbers, it will be assigned to the variables A, B, and C. Okay, we have here the ampersand that is get the value from the keyboard entered by the user and assign it to the variables a b and c next we have the formula to calculate the sum of a b and c because we have the um, operators plus and the result will be assigned to the variable sum next is print okay it's a print if statement that will print the total is percent Okay, so percent D here, okay, it's a, a format specifier for what? So for the value of the sum variable. So the value of the sum variable will be displayed to this format specifier percent D. And the um, statement thank you and have a good day and we have here the return zero since our main method is of type integer in main 